Hey guys, Nate Harvey with LeadFTS.com. Today we're going to go over some squat progressions with the rackable camber bar that we have. Last month we showed you how to box squat with a straight bar. Today we're going to show you a rackable camber bar. The advantages of this bar is it will save your athlete's shoulders, okay, so you're not going to beat up on your athletes as much. Two, you can get stronger with less weight. Um, all the cues you'll see as we go along are the same as a regular box squat, but because of the way the weight sits on the bar, it's gonna be more challenging for your athletes. So as long as they can squat with a straight bar, you can put this in and give them some variation in their training and hopefully not beat them up as much. So we have our volunteer, Matt, here. Matt's never squatted with a camber bar before. Um, we did go over squatting with a straight bar last night to a box, so hopefully we can show you guys how easy it is for your athletes to transition to a new bar where you can get a greater training effect for them. So just like when we're training, we're gonna have Matt go ahead and hit a warm up set with an empty bar. We're always gonna start with an empty bar, okay? Stand up strong, lock his upper back end. Two steps out to get in position. His feet are set, fill his stomach up, chin up. I'll go ahead and hit like 15 reps or so. Yep. Good. He's doing a good job leaning forward and staying there like we talked about last time. And that's one thing you'll see with this bar. This will help eliminate your kids rocking backwards on the box. Because if they do that, once you start working up in weight, it's gonna throw them forward. So one, it'll teach them to squat correctly. And two, if they don't, you're gonna bring up some weaknesses that they have. Stand all the way up straight. There you go. Okay, good. So we, Matt's about a mid 300 squatter on a straight bar. So as we work up, we just took the bar. Now we'll throw a 25 on each side, okay? So Matt's gonna, we just took the bar. Now he's gonna take uh, 95 pounds. He's a mid 300 pound squatter. So our next jump in weight is gonna go bar. And now we're gonna go 25 on each side of the bar. I'll go ahead, hop under. So he's still warming up. So we're gonna do this for five reps but eventually we're gonna just be doing singles. So your first couple of sets, you're gonna get some reps in to help the athlete get warmed up. Fill your stomach up, go ahead. Back and open, drive your shoulders in the bar, good. Push out on your feet when you come up, yep. Good, rock it. Okay, so we just did uh, 25 on each side, now we'll go to a plate. So how are you feeling? You're starting, get warm. starting to get warm. So this one we'll do for three. This will be our last set of reps and then we're gonna go singles all the way up, all right? So three reps. Look up for, there you go. Chin up before you stand up. Step, step, you should be set up. Big breath in your stomach. Pressure out on your feet. Drive your shoulders, good. Pause, fast. So as you're doing your workup sets, fast. One more and then rack it. So as you're doing your workup sets, encourage your athletes to push on the bar hard. Okay, we want to try to get the muscles activated and ready to go. So we have a plate on. How was that? Not too bad? Good. Okay, so we have a plate. We're going to throw our 25 back on top. So now we're getting into our singles. He did a set of 15 with a bar. Set of five with a 25 on each side, a set of three with a plate. Now we're at a plate and a half, and we're just gonna hit one. Reach back and open, push hard on your stomach. Drive your head. Good, get in there. Okay, so you're starting to see some swing in the bar now. Um, and I'm not gonna tell Matt the secret to that, because we're gonna, we're gonna let the bar do its work so you, so you guys can see how that works, all right? Okay, so last time uh, Matt did a plate, 25 on each side. Uh, we're starting to get a little harder, so now we'll take smaller jumps. So we just put a 10 on each side, so a 20 pound jump on this one. All right, and we're just doing singles. Go ahead when you're ready. There you go. Set your feet, chins up, fill your belly up. Reach your butt back and open. Stomach out, knees out. Stomach out. Drive your shoulders in the bar. There you go, good. Help men. Okay, good. So he's starting to get used to the bar a little bit. That one didn't throw him quite as bad. You could see it a little bit, but um, let's go two plates. So 10 and 25 off. 
Okay, so last set we had 245 on, because this is actually a 65 pound bar. So now we have 265. And again, Matt's a mid 300 squatter usually. So we're gonna go 265 and see how it goes. Chin up, push out on that belt now. There you go, good. Step, step, settle it, let the weight, there you go. Big breath in before you go. Reach and open, drive your shoulders through, push out. There you go, help him in. So he's starting to get used to the bar now, so each rep is looking a little bit better. So that's good, that's, that's typical. And he's a good, good student too, he's coachable, so he's listening to things. So he's not having a more difficult time, but you'll see as we well, let's go. We'll put a 10 on each side and then we'll see how it goes. All right. So here we are 20 pounds heavier. Last rep looked pretty good. We're just going to keep building up and see how he does. It's like the last one. Chin up, push out on that belt, stand up strong. There you go. Step, let the weight settle your feet in the floor. Yep. Fill your belly up. Reach. Drive your shoulders, push out. Good. Okay, so we're up at 295 now. Should be uh, getting a little bit heavier. So Matt's doing a good job. We're gonna see how this goes. Big breath in. There you go. Set your feet. Fill back up again. Push out on the belt, reach. Head back, push out, head, good, help him in. Okay, I think you're good. All right, so that was pretty good. Um, you saw on his, kind of his middle of the road sets and that last set, I don't want to take anybody to failure today, um, but you see the shake in the bar. <clears throat> the reason for that is he wasn't rocking too bad. He's doing pretty good leaning into the squat and staying there, but what he was doing to come up off the box, he was pushing his hands into the bar, which is what you don't want to do and I didn't tell him that because I wanted to kind of demonstrate that. What you want to do with the bar is when you squat, you're going to tuck your elbows and pull them in. And what that does is lock the upper back in and it'll help make your athlete's back and core all down through here stronger. Okay. So that's like the big difference with this bar and will, will help your athletes get stronger. Okay. But I didn't tell him that today because I wanted to show you guys that swing and how that works. Okay. But if, so if we were actually training, I would have told you that early on, and then what that does is train all this better.